mm -hmm. the tutorial that's going to show you how to make this spooky ghost for Halloween. No, he's not really spooky, he's cute. But I'll show you what you need to make this guy. It's really simple. Mm -hmm. this tutorial, you're going to be needing two size hooks. One, a 3.5 millimeter hook, a size E hook, and a 5 millimeter hook, a size H hook for the U.S. You're going to need a bit of black, at least two skeins of white yarn. And this is acrylic, um, 100 grams or 233 meters. And also you're going to need some fiber fill or something to stuff the inside of your your ghost head and that's it okay to begin you want to grab your five millimeter hook or size H hook and you want to chain not too tight not too loose a uh, hundred and one chains and then starting from the second chain from the hook as usual you want to do a single crochet in each stitch and at the end of the row you should have a hundred chains and from then on, you're just going to be chaining one turn and single crocheting in all 100 stitches again. Um, you're going to want to do this for both your skeins of white. Uh, I believe I got to 98 rows before I ran out of yarn. So um, get as close to 100 rows as you can until you run out of yarn. And then we can start putting our ghost together. And once I got finished, my finished piece measured from left to right 72 centimeters or 28 inches or from top to bottom 55 centimeters or 22 inches once you have your piece completed you want to grab a little bit more than a handful or about the size uh, head that you want to make so you're going to grab a decent amount and you're going to stick it in the center of your piece that you've created then you're going to want to grab all four sides and pull them all up together and then grab the bottom part holding the stuffing below to make about the size of head as you want. If it's too big then remove some and if it's too small then add some. Here's your chance to do it. Once you've done that then you want to get some uh, string a pretty good uh, size but doesn't have to be too too wide but use the same color that you used to make your ghost and tighten it tie a couple of knots in it and then you want to kind of uh, shape the face a little bit try to at least get a flat spot in front so you can uh, sew on your eyes and your mouth and then you want to go ahead and hide your tails and then you're ready to start making your your eyes okay to do our eyes we're going to be using our 3.5 millimeter hook or size E hook and we need just a bit of black we're also going to be using our uh, 3.5 millimeter hook for our mouth as well so for the purposes of this tutorial, since it's going to be hard to see the black, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to this color. So I always want to start my pieces for my uh, eyes and nose or anything like that with a little extra tail in the end because once I sew it on, I want to be able to hide this tail with ease. So make your slip knot down a little ways. And then you want to start by chaining two. And then now in this first chain, we're going to be making our five single crochets. So I'm going to put my hook into the first one. I'm going to wrap my tail around it just because I want to work over my tail, at least some of my tail, so that I can use my tail to pull my hole closed. I have a video called uh, Alternative to the Magic Ring, Magic Loop, where I show this technique very clearly. And this is exactly what I'm doing. Okay, once you have your five single crochets, you want to find your very first single crochet and slip stitch into it. And then if you have a bit of a hole, you can pull your tail to close your hole now. Now you want to chain one 
and you want to put two single crochets in each stitch around. So at the end of this round you'll have 10 stitches. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then you want to find the very first stitch, and if you're not sure which one, count from the last stitch work. Two, four, two, four, six, eight, ten. So this is my tenth stitch here. So this is the beginning stitch. And again, slip stitch in that beginning stitch. Pull everything tight. Then you want to chain two. And then you want to work, actually you want to chain only one. And then you want to work a double crochet into that first stitch. And one more double crochet into that first stitch. So we're, we're going to chain one and then we're working two double crochets in the first stitch. You want to work two double crochets in the following four stitches as well. So two double crochets in the next stitch, two double crochets in the stitch after that. Continue to work your way until you have five stitches that have two double crochets in them. And I have one, two, three, four. So one more. You'll have a total of ten double crochets when you're done. When you get done with that, you want to chain one and then leaving yourself quite a bit of tail, you want to cut your yarn. And that is how you make your eye. So go ahead and make one more of those. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my little ghost so I can show you how I put it on him. Okay. Now if you haven't adjusted your face, like for instance, I wanted to use this side and it's not flat enough. Again, you can just kind of pull it, tighten it, pull it towards the other end to give it more of a flat look on this side. Just pull more on this face on the, on the opposite side to flatten out a space. Of course, its face looks a little old man-ish right now, but <laughs> that's how you do it. That's how you pull it. You just make this part flatter. Make it look as nice as you want. This is the one that's going to show. And you get the eyes. This is the first eye that we made. Keeping the top part here on the top. Kind of giving him a kind of look like eyelashes. And then you just place it. Make this part neat again. Then you just place it right on his face. Make both of them before you sew. You want to put one where you want it. I mean, put them both where you want it and then take one away and leaving the one here. And then you can thread your tapestry needle and start to sew his eye on. And then once you've got that, you're ready for the mouth. The mouth is just, uh, it's made with the 3.5 millimeter hook and it's a chain of 20. So all I did was just chain 20. Again, create your slip knot a little ways down, leaving this you know amount to be hid later. And chain 20, and then you lay it across here. Thread your tapestry needle, and then you just work along the way to make your smiley face. And then your tail, you know, go over here and hide it down. What I did is I just threaded it through some of the smile and then I straightened out and then I cut and did the hiding of the tail the same way the other direction so that there's no tails. Same with this. Once you sew around the, the eye and you sew a little bit in the middle, then just thread it a little bit through the black and then you can cut it. You shouldn't have to tie a knot or anything. And to make the top part here, I did a chain of, I don't think I wrote it down, I think I did a chain of 80. This is just if you want to hang it up. I wanted to hang mine up. Um, most of these, uh, when you make 
this kind of pattern uh, with tissue paper, you know, like the old tissue paper ghost. This is how I got the idea for this. They're always hung up. So I wanted to hang him up too. So I did a chain of 80 and then I worked in, get my hook here. I used my 3.5 millimeter hook, by the way, and uh, I inserted my hook on one place, the opposite side of, uh, I, I attached my yarn, then I did my chain, and then I attached it like maybe three stitches away and used my uh, tail that was on the very end of my chain. When I cut my, my uh, tail, I left a little bit of yarn left over and then I use that to kind of slip stitch it onto the other side. And then I just uh, got my, here, I'll show you here. I got my, uh, oh, he's been hanging for a while now. Kids have been playing with him. Once I got this side done, sorry, I had him facing this way. Once I got this side slip stitched on, what I did is I just put my hook through this side, grabbed the chain itself and pulled it through to make a loop and then I grabbed this remaining chain and pulled it through this loop that I made. And then when you pull it, you gotta be careful because you wanna keep it as centered as you can. So only one of these sides really pull, which is this one, pulls it tight. Just try to keep it centered so he won't hang sideways. And that was it, that's all I did. Very, very simple, quick, Halloween project and uh, since I'm out here in Israel I can't really find uh, a lot of Halloween decorations this is why I'm starting to make my own and I'm trying to make them quick uh, simple projects as I can because I'm trying to get at least some decorations hung around the house for the kids this first Halloween for them uh, so I hope that you really uh, you enjoy this really simple idea for the hanging cute little ghost here Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and share this video and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.